All right, folks, listen, we've reached that part of the show now and this time of the week for Rewind, or like I like to call it sometimes, the, the feeling old segment, where we look back <laughs> at the films that this week turn 20 years old and the films that also just turned 10 years old this week. And we're going to start off with the films that turned 10 years old this week. We've got 10 years ago this week, Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo, the highly anticipated sequel. <laughs> We've got The Skeleton Key, the Kate Hudson uh, horror film. And speaking of Mark Wahlberg, yeah. Four Brothers. Uh, Clark, let's start with you. Which of these movies, if any, stood out to you? Actually, I, one of them does, and I'm being very serious. Skeleton Key. Skeleton Key is not a good movie, admittedly. I'm so glad you said that. I thought we were going to no, no, go no, no, in a totally no, no, different no. direction. However, <laughs> since Hollywood is now in the business of remaking movies that are 10 years old or less, can we remake Skeleton Key? The That's premise is fantastic and it's this great southern gothic new orleans horror um I, or concept location it's got it's got elements of of voodoo of i mean it's just it is it's such a miss it was such a miss but the idea was so good so i vote remaking skeleton key you know you, you're i think you just completely nailed it yeah that movie was bad but the concept right? was great. And yes. you execute that movie right, you've got a really cool modern classic that I think you could tell. And it would be an expensive. This is this is right up Bloomhouse's alley, actually. This Let is me a movie make a could, call. I'll be yeah, right back. This <laughs> would be right up their alley. Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo, has to be, on, honestly, I think it has to be, without hyperbole, on my top 10 worst comedies of all time. <laughs> it is so unbelievably unfunny and just awful. Now, I didn't like the first one either, and I got a lot of friends who really did. I didn't like it, but I didn't loathe it. It's not like memorable, it's so bad. European Gigolo, so horrifically awful. And it kind of ended the conversation about, is Rob Schneider going to be a legit leading man and not ever just be, is it Garrett? Like, is he's not going to be, no. He's always just going to be that guy. I, it's just, you know, no. Four Brothers, decent movie. I liked Four Brothers. I, I enjoyed Four Brothers myself. But which of these films stand out to you? Well, obviously, European Jiggle. I mean, you know, they didn't give me a dime off that story, and I lived that for five <laughs> years of my life. Uh, I never saw Deuce Bigelow, either of the Deuce Bigelows. I know the first one was a moderate hit, so... Whatever, God love you for making a sequel and trying. Skeleton Key, I thought was a, was an entertaining horror movie for a while, and you're right, the concept deserves another treatment because of the way that, it, that it's revealed what's actually going on, and it just goes to show you, if you're looking at property anywhere in the United States, don't find upstate New York, and don't <laughs> find New Orleans, because your place is haunted. All right, now let's move on to the films that turn 20 years old this week, and we've got the Michelle Pfeiffer Dangerous Minds, We've got the ever so popular A Walk in the Clouds, and we've got A Kid in King Arthur's Court. I gotta tell you, I didn't see A, a Kid in King Arthur's what? Court. Yeah. I never, I never felt drawn to see. Have you? You no. saw it? Oh, I saw God. it. I remember that one. Really? That's the one that I remember. I totally totes saw that movie. <laughs> that guy, I remember that. Thomas, is that Thomas Ian Nicholas? Oh, it might be. Maybe. Sure. I just I'll go with that. Maybe not, know. or someone else. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't think it is, actually. I think I got his name wrong. Regardless, I remember that movie. And also, I remember Dangerous Minds, Coolio song. <laughs> I knew all the words to Gangster's Paradise. Me, I was the coolest nine-year-old ever. <laughs> what, which of these movies stand out to you? Uh, yeah, Dangerous Minds is the one that stands out because of the Coolio tune is the one that you remember it more than the movie. But it was a, kind of a cool story. And then it spawned a bunch of other teachers helping out ruffian kids and learning about themselves. And even a spoof movie called High School High with John Lovitz, I believe. And Tia Carrera, yeah, I've seen every movie, even the bad ones, except for Four Brothers and Deuce Bigelow, European Jiggle, apparently. Yeah, Dangerous Minds is actually one of these films that kind of spawned similar themed films to come after it for the next 10, 15 years. And you're right, it, it, and that kind of makes it an important film mm -hmm. in many ways. And I really like Michelle Pfeiffer in the role. Oh, yeah. I, I thought she was really strong in the role. Walk in the Clouds for all the wrong reasons is the one that I remember the most for all the wrong reasons. Just no, not a good movie. Not, not a good one at all. And actually, you know, I just pulled it up on, um, 
IMDb in front of me and I'm trying to look for things. It's like, was it as bad as I remember? And I'm looking at different facts and figures like, no, 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 this is the, this is everything bad thing that I remember. It, it did indeed come from that movie. Well, it was like an attempt for Keanu Reeves to step outside because, you know, he was Bill and Ted and then Point Break and then Speed. Yeah. He was, he was, he was really good in Speed. Yes, and it's he like, was. this guy might have all the tools. And you see Walk in the Clouds, you're like, oh, this is reminding me of him and Bram Stoker's Dracula way too much. And then the Matrix <laughs> came out and let us forget about a Walk in the Clouds. So take the red pill. <laughs>